Hey guys! So I asked you guys on Instagram and YouTube to ask me questions for an upcoming Ask Rome question and answer video and this is what this video is all about. So these questions range from random questions, questions about uh, work, relationships, etc, etc. So I'm going to go answer these questions and I think I'm going to start with the questions on YouTube first. I'm going to try to truck through along as many questions as I can but I don't want to make this video super long so let's get started. On YouTube, Nam Wynn asks, eyebrows on fleek, thread or wax? Currently, for the past two, two and a half years, I've been threading my eyebrows. Prior to that, I was waxing and I was told that the wax tugs on your skin pretty harshly and it's not really that great for your skin, so threading is a little bit more of a graceful solution. Lately, it's been threading at the mall at this place called Brow Art. Next question is from, oh gosh, what now? Any new potential relationships? Short answer, no. Uh, currently, just been kind of dating here and there, but nothing super serious. Um, I think over the years, I've kind of realized what I wanted a little bit more, and I think that I'm looking towards something a little bit more serious. I feel like I got my shit together and I am a little bit more picky in terms of what I look for in a person. So next question is from Travel Junkie TV and part of this question I've been asked numerous times. Uh, hey Jerome, my question for you is of all the places you've traveled to thus far, do you have a favorite? Besides Pinas, of course. Pinas is at the Philippines. Also, is there a place you haven't been to yet? The first question, I think out of all of the places, and of course, Philippines is right up there. I would say I really enjoyed going to Bali uh, in Indonesia. I have a vlog uh, a year and a half ago when I went there with my friend Roger. I feel like I experienced a lot of different sides to the area. I mean, of course, it's the beach, but also we stayed in Ubud, which is a little bit more north and a little bit more of a forest, culturally artistic area. So I got to see monkeys. I got to uh, do a bike tr uh, bike ride along like the, the area. It was beautiful. The food was amazing and the people were just very friendly and hospitable. So definitely Bali. Um, in the future where I want to go to, besides the places that I have lined up in the next year, um, London, Paris, Paris and Taipei. I would say Santorini, Greece. The pictures I've been told don't do it justice. Cape Town, South Africa. I have a few friends that live there and I always have a place to stay. I really want to go to a safari. Next question is from my Anne Madrid on YouTube. Rome, what do you like most about being a Filipino? How do you juggle work and doing your vlogs? I love your videos, by the way. I hope to meet you soon. Hope to meet you too. Where are you from? Um, and thank you so much for that question. Uh, I'll answer the first part. What do I like about being Filipino the most? Um, the family. And I've noticed from, you know, being here in the States and then back in the Philippines, uh, the family knit, tight knit family is an important principle in Filipino culture. I have noticed um, growing up here, I have a lot of friends that have no brothers and sisters and probably one or two cousins. I have over 30 or 40 cousins and my mom is one of 10 and my dad is one of like seven or eight. So we are a very large family, very close. And um, growing up, I've always, I consider my cousins my best friends, aside from my other actual non-blood related friends, um, I can go to them for anything. And uh, besides that, the food is amazing. I love Filipino food. Um, I would say sinigang, the sour, the better, tamarind soup, uh, lumpia, pancit palabok, all of that. The other question is how do I juggle work and doing your vlogs? It's hard. I work between 45 to 50 hours a week full time and I currently, I don't think as YouTube as being my job because I mainly do it for fun. Um, that's how it's always been from the beginning. Um, it's, it's, it's hard to juggle. I try to manage my time as efficiently and effectively as I can, but sometimes it's hard to put out like two videos a week. Next question is, where do you plan on traveling to next and any plans to come down to Australia from Janice D? Um, as mentioned before, my next travel adventures is 
in London and Paris next month in September. So if you're from that area, know the area, leave comments below for me, thank you. Um, gonna be there for a couple weeks to celebrate my godmother's birthday and just kind of going around. I'll be working from our Europe office. And as far as Australia, I've always wanted to go visit. I feel like I tailor a lot of my vacations or I try to tailor my vacations to tennis tournaments because I love professional tennis. You saw it last time in Asian Invasion where we went to Singapore for the WTA Finals, New York at the US Open, so I really want to go to the Australian Open. It's it's a dream. Next question on YouTube comes from Austin Lev. What do you edit your videos on? What made you start vlogging? I edit my videos on the really user-friendly and basic iMovie. Um, I've been using that from the beginning and it's just been a really easy tool for me to edit my vlogs. I really want to get into Final Cut Pro, but with it, there, I feel like there's a really large learning curve for that and I just don't have time to learn. I know that's a really shitty answer, but um, yeah. And what made me start vlogging? Just seeing the other vloggers out there do their thing. I mean, I've been a follower of Is Judy Time, Is Judy's Life for a while now, and I've been kind of into following people's lives. Next question is from Miss Lansones. Rome, you're pretty close to all your friends and family, but who stands out the most? That's a really good question, and I, it's hard to, to answer that because a lot of people have affected my life in many different ways, like Crystal, Ruth, Elsie have been there from when we were kindergarten. I have known them since I was five years old, and for cousins like Irish, who I really just got to know ever since she moved from the Philippines, she's done had a big influence on me, but um, I don't know if I can pinpoint a specific person, like my parents have been really influential in my life, and my brother, and Isa, the kids, Lana and Kayo, they, they are so young, but they teach me every day to just be happy. It's, it's, you can't pinpoint one person. The list is endless. On to Instagram, and these questions come from a while ago, so they're a little bit outdated, but we'll make do with what we have. Joanne U7, or my friend Joanne, says, what is the most ratchet thing you've done lately? Let's see. Um, I don't know if it's pretty ratchet, but Buffalo Wild Wings, you guys all know that it's just a chicken wing joint. They have those little wet wipes and naps that are in like the little packaging next to like the ketchup and, and whatnot. I tend to take a whole bunch of those because they're really good <laughs> for cleanups in the car. I keep a whole stash in my, my glove compartment. Ratchet. Next question is from Fire Feels Divine. When are you coming back to the Philippines? Would you do a meetup? I'd love to meet you. I love your vlogs. Also, can you sing any Tagalog songs? Um, I plan on coming back hopefully maybe sometime next year, 2016. If not, towards the end or maybe 2017, we will see. Um, would I do a meetup? I'd love to do that again. I did it with Say, Joyce, and Bea last time at uh, Greenbelt. It was uh, a lot of fun because I got to meet a few of you guys. Tagalog songs. Panginoon, turuan mo akong maging bukas Palan, turuan mo aking maglingkod sa iyo Na magbigan ng ayo I don't even know if I'm saying this correctly. It's been years since I've sang uh, in Tagalog. Next question on Instagram is from Mi Monomo. Top five restaurant food, top five Filipino food, and top five comfort food and drink. Uh, restaurant and comfort food might be in the same category, so I'll combine that. Um, and then Filipino food. Top five Filipino food. Um, sinigang, pancit palabok. I've already said those. Uh, lechon kawali. Uh, da -da -da -da. Sisig, oh my god, last one, gotta make it good. Leche flan, num. And then top five restaurant comfort food. Um, definitely macaroni and cheese. Chicken, any type of chicken. Dim sum, shumai especially. Uh, and then to go along with that, like deep fried shrimp balls. I don't know if that's an Americanized dim sum thing. And maybe rice. Duh. Shauna Tracy asks, what is the best restaurant you've ever been to? And hands down, I have a vlog about this. It's Canlis in Seattle. The, it was amazing. I went there for my birthday and this, the service was 
superb. Everything was timed perfectly. The food was spectacular. If you are in the Seattle area, definitely check that place out. It's a little bit pricey. And by a little bit, I mean a lot pricey, but go for a special occasion and yeah. And the last question I have is from Jackie Boo. What's your favorite song to sing? I always kind of circulate between different songs and I have my songs, but I feel like I've always sang, <laughs> this sounds stupid, um, Leanne Rhymes, How Do I Live? I don't know, it's just been kind of like a staple, but let's do it. How do I get through one night without you? If I had to live without you, what kind of life would that be? Oh, and I, I need you in my arms and you to hold. You're my world, my heart, my soul. If you'd ever leave, baby, you can take away everything real in my life. And tell me now, how do I live without you? I want to know, how do I breathe without you? If you'd ever go. Anyways, those are the questions that I have for you guys today. Hope you guys learned a little bit more about me. I plan on doing a little bit more of these types of videos in the future if you guys are interested. So if you have any upcoming qu if you have any questions for me, please leave it in the down bar below and look out for those Paris and London vlogs. I'm really excited because I've never been to either of those places ever. So uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Like this video if you found this not helpful but entertaining, educational, I don't know. And subscribe if you haven't and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.